What is a legacy? Is it simply to be remembered by the ones you love? Or is it something more? I am a Basilius, and therefore those I'm close to will not be the only ones who look to pass judgment. And if I truly was a great king, my memory should live on with the common people, not just those who can read the histories. My father was a good king. He eliminated Bithynia and scoured the Ptolemies from Anatolia. But his frailties and insecurities clouded his vision and muddied his legacy. It was my job to put that right. And I have dedicated myself to the destruction of the Ptolemies. Not just for my father, but in honor of Seleucos, my grandsire. And for the most part, I have been successful. And when I think of my greatest victories, the scaling of Jerusalem, the battle of the pyramids and the battle of the Nile Delta, I can see why the Ptolemies named me simply the Storm. And with that storm has come great celebration and love from my people, but also great death and misery to the conquered. But in my own lands, they call me Antiochus the Builder, a curious name when I've spent my life on campaign. Building our nation was my brother's achievement, but somehow it has been put on to me. Yes, I backed his plans and funded him, but you don't give credit to the one who brought the gold. You give it to the ambitious man who made something from it. So when I examine my legacy, I am left with more questions than answers. But unlike my father, I am satisfied. Whether remembered for my conquests or for my brother's ambitious plans, I have done all I can to bring greatness to our empire and I've done so successfully. There will come a point soon when I can do nothing to change my legacy. When that point comes, brother, father, grandsire, it will be joyous to gaze upon your faces once again and tell stories of war and woe, of women and wine, for I miss you, all of you. But it won't be long before I miss you no more and my legacy will be set in stone. Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Zed, and today we are continuing our Seleucid campaign in RTR Imperium Serectum version 0.5. Yes! We are back, and I'm sorry for the lack of updates and uploads recently. I have started a brand new job, so I have been very busy. There's a lot more time involved in this new job, so I've had a lot less time to do any uploading and editing, all that sort of thing. So, without further ado, though, we are continuing our Seleucid campaign. Last time, we beat back the Cappadocians, or should I say the Crappadocians, over here in, uh, what's this called? Hylacia. Um, and yeah, we did a lot of campaign management as well. We do have a pretty nice army on the way, uh, which is going to be a pretty strong boy army, I'm not going to lie, of all our new troops. And it shouldn't actually be too long, maybe only about nine turns until we get the reforms, guys, which is going to be glorious because then we can get cataphracts and uh, it's scythe chariots and elephants and everything that is just so juicy and glorious about this roster. I cannot wait. This Seleucid roster is really, really, really powerful when it wants to be. So, without further ado, though, we do have a battle to do, and it is the battle for Halicarnassus, and there is no mercy for rebellers. For rebellers? <laughs> Rebellens, yeah. There's no mercy for rebels in, in our empire. You know, we're that warring that we can't even speak properly. So, um, yeah, let's, uh, let's get into the battle, guys. So, let's see what they have. I mean, it's pretty sure it's just Asian light spearmen. You know, some slingers. I think, though, if I auto-resolve this, 
these lovely Hypastis and Chalka Speeders that we want saved will probably get shredded. And <laughs> we don't want that, do we? We don't want that. I mean, I'm half tempted to just do this with Ariathus, the handsome, because he's 65. He's going to die soon. So we might as well stick him on the frontliner. So I'll see you there in a second, guys. Here we are. And I am pumped. I am pumped. I have just re... <laughs> this is going to sound crazy. <laughs> I have recently discovered dwarf metal, guys. And if you didn't know that this existed, and you like, you know, fantasy, and you like uh, dwarves in general, you know, as a fantasy uh, sort of icon, then you need to listen to some dwarf metal. I'm telling you that for free, guys. Dwarf metal absolutely rocks. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now I'm pumped because I was listening to dwarf metal between <laughs> between the transition, between this, you know, this loading. <laughs> oh, I forgot I turned off unit banners. There we are. Oh, no. Lock that, please. There we are. Good. <laughs> dwarf metal, boys. Yes, dwarf metal. Look how experienced these boys are. We've got some very nicely experienced boys. Have we even had a look at the high pastors properly yet? Uh, obviously, we've got our Chalk Speeders. Nice experience on these boys now. But here are the high pastists. Oh, baby. Don't they look good? Don't they look fantastic? And we're going to have plenty of those. Uh, you know, plenty of new units to have a look at as we're going forward. Hopefully, they haven't put anyone on the walls. And at the minute, it looks like we're all right. Uh, oh, no, it doesn't. Who are you, then? You're, you're only slingers. That's fine. If you get there. Yeah, there we are. Both of you should be able to get up over there. Great. Good, let's speed it up. But yeah, dwarf metal. Traveling to the mine. Duh, 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 duh. Yeah. Yeah. What a, what, a, what a tune, man. Absolutely banging, bro. You can just imagine all the dwarves there. Heading to the mines, listening to some dwarf metal. Um, you know, even though they didn't have electric guitars in the dwarven days, you know. But, <laughs> ah, well. Um, right. Looks like we're doing okay. Now we just need to shoot everyone. And first of all, take the towers. Take the towers. Get through there. You pop through there as soon as you can. You pop through here, ideally. You guys around this way. Just take all the towers so that we're not getting shot at. And what we're going to do, we're probably going to send up the hoplites. So we'll send them over this way first. And then, like I say, a lot of the rest of the damage is going to be done by Ariathus the Handsome, who's a gold star, gold chevron now, which is, you know, pretty good, got to say. Come on, guys, hurry up. You know you take so long on a siege battle. I wish you could run with ladders in, you know, original Rome. If you just get there, and you guys just get there, then we can actually shoot at these boys. We've taken the gateway. Good. Now you've taken it. Just get here to fire at the enemy. And then you boys probably don't need you all the way down there. Let's get over here, and then we can start firing at the enemy. Can you fire at them yet? Or are they just a bit further away? We'll get there. Uh, you guys come round. Now we've taken pretty much all the towers apart from that one. I think it's worth sending these boys up. Get up there and fight the, uh, the Asian Slingers. These boys... Should be halted now, so you can start firing. You should be able to fire at a few different units, whichever unit you choose. Like I say, these guys will actually have a better, you know, ability to aim. Only a few of these guys will be able to fire. They're doing quite a bit of damage already. <laughs> nice. Come on, Hoplites. Right, let's speed this up. Doesn't need to be this fast, does it? Uh, this slow, does it? Should I say? Are you guys firing? And we've not lost too many archers. Come forwards. You guys, we need you guys around here as well. The Hoplites should absolutely shred these Asian Slingers. Really experienced Hoplites as well. Plenty, 
plenty to go at. So what do they, they have left? Light Spearmen. Asian Cavalry. And more Light Spearmen. Which are, which are pretty trash. Let's be honest. Uh, could I do this with, the, with just my generals? I think probably. It's probably worth coming in. Killing the cavalry at least. And then probably a big charge. We do have the mercenary Asian cavalry over here though as well. But these guys are the same. They're missile cavalry at the end of the day. Um, kind of want to charge them. They're isolated right now. And just get a good charge off. Especially if they're not going to charge back. Um, I'd rather you were in front, bro. They're going to fire their javis, which is never great. But it didn't really do that much damage because we are heavily armored. They shouldn't be good. They should not be good in melee at all, these guys. So, yeah, let's kill as many as we can while we're here. Here come the light spearmen. Ideally, we need to get rid of most of these guys before we pull out. Um, I think we do the rest just with the hoplites and the cavalry, I would say. So if you guys come around this way. Ah, we're going to have killed all of these boys. Yeah, they've hardly... Uh, they killed a few with their javis at the start. But after that, they're dead. Right, let's get back. Get away from the, uh, the light spearmen. Where's the other light spearmen unit? It's still there. What I'm going to what I'm gonna do is potentially get all the archers down here if they'll come down here as well. And we want to get everyone into sort of a, a position where we can surround them. Now get back, get back. If we can kill that general as well, we can break this unit of uh, light spearmen very easily. Uh, no, I, I, you know, you boys kind of want you here as well. Cavalry round there. Is that tower ours? Yes, it is. Good. I was sensible. I was sensible. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, Hoplite is like, can you move, please? Like, what are you doing, bro? Doesn't look like you've got anyone stuck up there. Like, come on, bro. Get going. <laughs> oh, my God. Go. Oh, my days. Now I'm not being sarcastic. Fucking move. You absolute slugs. Go, go, go. Before I call you something worse, bro. Uh, where are they? They're, they're running now. They're running. Quick, get them before they run. There we are. That's better. Get, get back, get back. Hoplites will deal with them. And then we'll charge them in the back. And hopefully, destroy them once and for all. Come on, boys! Kill them! Right. Turn and charge. That was the worst turn I've ever seen. You all crashed into each other. Now our uh, cavalry's tired. Bro, we're literally just inside a city. We're not even on, like, an outside map. You know, where you're having to run far. <laughs> you should not be this tired, bro. You have done a bit of fighting, though, I guess. So, get back out. Come on! God damn. It would be better if you listened sometimes. Speed this up again. Don't need to be going, you know, taking so long. But, uh, you know, we want to take pleasure in this as well, don't we? Killing the rebels. There we are. There we are. Good. Let's get you guys there. And let's get the Hoplites here. Where are the archers? Are they all firing yet? I think only a couple of them will because they're all like kind of layered over each other. So if I can like spread them out here, that would probably be better. Uh, it doesn't really matter which way round they face. That'll be fine. And hopefully that will allow, you know, a couple of them to start firing into them. Efficiency is everything, guys, in siege battles. <laughs> As we know. You can get further back. Then we can actually charge them in the side. Oh, I just oh, I love this mod so much, bro. Just watching the troops, like, run there is just great. Um, I don't know what you're doing, guys. But that's... They really don't like the archers that much. 
They really hate them that much. Really. Hoplites, what are you doing? Run after them, bro. What are you doing, bro? <laughs> right, we'll just go and take the town square. Speed it up. Hoplites can deal with them. Bang, there we are. <laughs> they still killed 115. Greek Hoplites, 154. Fair play. Good effort, boys. Archer's doing well as well. Good. Back to the campaign map. I will see you there. Ah, here we are. And you all know what we do with rebels, guys, don't you? We Emperor Palpatine them. Or Dalek them, I guess, would probably be a better one. I was going to make a joke about Emperor Palpatine, but, you know, I, I kind of did, but I'm not anymore. I'm not going to anymore. Uh, right. Now, this army, this Halicarnassus army, in terms of our armies against Cappadocia, we've got one, two at the minute. Do we really need three? Not really. We don't need three. We could instead go over here go against the galatians and take some of this rebel territory once again uh, that we've got out here in the middle of nowhere this is all my territory right i don't think we're missing any rebel territory anymore in any of these gaps i don't think so i think all this is still ours yep so yeah we might you know go a, a bit further north that might bring us into contact with the Galatians and Pontus. But again, I don't think they'll be too much of a worry. If we are, you know, if the Greek city-states, which we are at war with, do decide that they're going to come after Adramitian, we have a ready-made army in Pergamon to deal with that. I don't think we need to worry too much about what's going to happen over there. Um, at some point, guys, I am going to do what we call, what I'm going to call like an intermediate video. Where we're going to go through all the provinces and talk about how we campaign manage them, delete some of the the you know the the units in some of these places that don't need them anymore, uh, and adjust the taxes down to low in a lot of places that we we don't need it higher. I mean, most places are on low, um, but you know adjust the taxes accordingly to what we need. Um, up in the north, um, you know we're just going to have to be slow. That's that's our main our main thing. Right now, we're just going to have to be quite slow in terms of our continued growth over here. These settlements are going to be so, so nasty when we leave them. Um, so we really do need to try and get them happy. Um, so in fact, because of that, I'm going to get the Temple of Hera in there. Now we've actually got some extra cash to build in some places. So... We are building there, aren't we? We're also building up here. Are we building in Nisa? Yes, we are. Trying to make them happy. Some of these outer regions are still majorly unhappy. And uh, that is, of course, always a big, big problem. Uh, down here is kind of our recruitment hub. Uh, and we are getting that so we can actually get some cavalry. That's good. How about over here in Alexandria Prosphasia? Uh, let's just make that a bit of baths and then Alexandria Carmania. We are actually building in and then Harmosia over here. I have been told that the trade routes, the reason why they're not showing up is there's like a, a coded in into the base game, like limit on the distance they can go. So unfortunately, like down here at Alexandria Charax, it will never be able to trade with any other any other places because the ports are too far away so i don't know whether they that can be fixed for you know next time or whether it's hard coded in um but yeah we have uruk over here do we is there anything we want at uruk i mean a scriptorium would actually be great so let's get that in extra uh, retinue for our guys um and you know we've been focusing a lot on other areas haven't we uh, rather than this main area that makes us all our money. So, you know, it's worth keeping on up with the building in these regions. Especially that extra trade income bonus uh, for these places. So, where are we up to? We're up to the end turn, aren't we? So, let's go. End turn. Oh, there's uh, the Sarka. Did we speak to the Sarka, though? I'm not 100% sure. I'll go back and speak to them again. Um... You know, smallest we want is 
is a trade agreement, at least a trade agreement. That would be great. Uh, and we need to crunch her through a, f a few turns again just to get to the point where we get the uh, the reforms. So I know the reforms either happens at turn 100. No! 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 Antiochus, our glorious leader, our greatest leader, dare I say to date, our most glorious, glorious man, has died! Has died! No! No! No, no, no! No, let's have a look at the family tree. Um, so, yeah. So we have... Oh, God, it's so big. So we had Seleuca. We didn't actually play as Seleucus, did we? We played as Antiochus the first. He was our first character, and he also was a great leader, of course. Then we had Antiochus the Builder, which I've got to say, you know, it's a decent name because he built up our nation. His brother recently died as well. Uh, Amphion and uh, Amopion are still alive. Um, but we just want to be in this sort of region for our, for our faction heir. So Antiochus the Angry is our faction leader as of now. When one of these guys becomes of age, which is one of his nephews, I think that's when we'll look at potentially getting, um, or maybe Iphastionas. Obviously, it goes against our Antiochus. <laughs> maybe we just need an Antiochus in there. Uh, but yeah, a lot of these guys are going to come of age very soon. One of them needs to become a commander and then become our new faction heir. We could also, you know, go down maybe this one. That is Antiochus the Angry's cousin. Well, this would be their, their sort of great cousin. Wow, there's a lot of females in this line over here. There's going to be a lot of marriages. Marriage proposals coming in. Permenion over here. We have Abderos the Handsome, who's his cousin as well. We want to just keep it in this line, ideally. But at the minute, there's not really anyone. We have Icarus over here. <laughs> it's probably not the name we want. Um... And Anchises. So where are you, Anchises? Well, you're not Anchises, so I don't know. But anyway, Antiochus, a great leader, has died. <laughs> oh, what a disappointment. I wanted him to destroy the Ptolemies, which... You know, the Ptolemies have hardly any settlements left. Um, you know, they have... They're rebel ones. They have that one there. That is their, like, last one along this route. Um, but, yeah. Poor Antiochus. His whole life he spent marching uh, in armies. So, fair play to him. He has been a glorious leader for us all, hasn't he? Uh, and now we have Antiochus the Angry, which I think is a great name. <laughs> um, Oconian got that. Jerusalem, we also got the Greek as well. Uh, we were trying to do a bit of a culture conversion in a lot of these regions. I think we'll carry that on in Greece. Get the level 2 colony. Uh, in terms of the rest of construction, nothing in here should be too... You know... Uh, too important just yet. Mm. It's probably worth getting that shrine to Hera in there as well. Uh, and then, like, Termesos, for example, is Greek now. Good. That's fantastic. That's working. And then Gaza over here should, if we get that next level, should start converting to Greek. Great. Now, we have a lot of messages in there. Where's our new faction heir, though? Antiochus the Angry, the new faction leader. Here he is. He has a mentor and everything. He's still got zero influence because he's just so crazy. <laughs> oh. He's got, you know, decent command, but just no influence because he's repellent. There are some physical defects that even a winning personality cannot hope to rescue. <laughs> and this guy does not have a winning personality, you know. He's, he's teetotal, though. But, yeah, he's very, very angry. <laughs> Teetotal, extravagant, repellent, uh, hot-headed, so he's even more angry, sharp, optimistic, 
hasty, of course, because he's angry. He likes natural philosophy, though. He's a hard worker, political animal, a logistician, which is great, understanding of tactics, passionate, of course. Angry and passionate goes hand in hand. Uh, conceited and a king. And even with all that, he still has no influence. He's got minus two influence from his traits overall. <laughs> He's not a very influential man, but, well, you know, in real terms he is, to be honest, isn't he? If it was, you know, reality and it wasn't in, a, in, a, in the game, he would be a very influential man, but yeah. We've also lost Aristexenus over here. And we've also lost Aristandros. Like I said, we're going to get a lot, a lot of people dying uh, in these places in the next few turns. Because they're all getting to that age. So, not ideal. How unhappy is Halicarnassus, though? Happy enough. Happy enough. If we could recruit maybe one of those just to go in there, that'd be great. And for you boys, like I say, we're going to go up into here first. Then we will attack the Galatians. So another enemy for us to deal with. We've got a lot of cities that have expanded. Damascus, great. And I always queue these in because otherwise I would forget. Uh, I know it's a bit of a waste of money for ones that already have buildings going. Uh, but for most of them, I would just forget if I didn't do this. Oh, Memphis as well. Nice. Fantastic. Memphis is actually Greek now as well. And uh, all of these places are Greek, which is man dabby dozy. Right. Now, over here, do we want to potentially... How much money... We're not even losing much money to corruption. And this is a really, really rich area. We do actually have trade routes there, which is great. This one does have a little bit of a trade route. But we're going to get more. So then, Alexandria, let's... Potentially get that great Agora. I know it costs a lot, but it makes a lot of money as well. How much would that make, though? That makes more, and it's cheaper. So we're definitely going to go for the paved roads. Then over this way, let's get in maybe a market. Uh, and yeah. We'll decide what we want to do with the rest of the money when we've moved all our armies. So we've got this army over here fighting at Cappadocia. Got some nice new units in there. We've got that army there. And then up in the north, I bet you Bactria's run away. Like little pussies. No! They're actually staying there. We've still got five turns till that. I think we're just going to try and defend <laughs> Karakata for now. While we try and find where the actual, you know, Parthian armies are. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we're building that little temple in. Nisa as well. The problem is Nisa is just miles and miles away from anything. So, do we even... We do have roads here, but they don't actually go to Nisa. So, that's a big problem as well. You've got to go all the way up and around here to get to there. This is just the middle of nowhere. This is the problem with campaigning up in this region. We're just pretty screwed, really, I've got to say, with what, what we're doing. While we have access to them, let's get access... Let's get the cavalry... Um, the cavalry mercenaries that are available. Um, you boys are fine. Fine in there as well. Yeah, we're fine there. We're fine there. We've moved there. We've moved up in the north of Cappadocia. So, let's, uh, let's take this. Okay, plenty of, uh, plenty of boys in there. <laughs> A lot of generals, so we definitely will do this on the map. That's 100% uh, what we need to do. We've also got some more Hypastis if we want to use them. So, But I don't think we will. I think we'll use some of our Chalka Speeders in there. This army is going to be out on campaign for a while, so although it's a bit damaged, it's fine. It's going to be on campaign for ages against Cappadocia. So I will see you in a second, guys. Here we are, guys. Oh, yes, and it's not even a metal-walled settlement. That is fantastic. It's quite a big one. Look at that. That is a big temple uh, for Cappadocia. Very nice. I love Cappadocia. It's, uh, it is a cool nation to have in the mod. I'm sure many of you have seen the, um, the underground cities that, are, that exist there. 
which are really, really cool. Um, but we're going to go smash and grab straight through the main gate. See what we can do. See what damage we can do to these boys. Again, we'll try and use our general as much as possible. Uh, and yeah, the Chalka Speeders are going to be our greatest friend here. We do have the uh, Agira Speeders. Um, which, yeah, are very, very good. But when we don't need to use them, let's not use them. Let's use our sort of weaker troops. Our troops that, you know, are going to be doing a bit good damage anyway. And can get retrained a bit easier. Are you not firing? I thought you would be able to fire there, but I guess not. Uh, I guess they just can't fire there because of the angle. It is a, it is a sort of tighter angle than most, you know, than vanilla uh, and than most other mods. So we do need to remember that as well. Um, firing over the wall is not something that they generally are able to do. Uh, and we did do a bit of friendly fire there. So, Chalka Speedes, go. Uh, and then these Chalka Speedes, let's go here as well. This is a really nicely put together army. I do really like this army. Um, and yeah, I think we can do the rest with the Chalka Speedes and the archers. Get there. And you two. Let's, you know, come forward. Then we'll probably put the phalanx down. How much archer, like horse archers? It's just the Asian royal bodyguards that we need to worry about. As long as we keep our general nearby, our Chalka Speeders should be fine. Let's get through the gate. Hello, boys. Have you ever seen a Seleucid phalanx before? Probably not, but we're not making the best. <laughs> the best. <laughs> we're not showing our best side right now. <laughs> it's more like a skill trunt. <laughs> but yeah, it's a lucid phalanx, boys. <laughs> there we are. It's what we call a, a lopsided phalanx <laughs> over here. Um, well, let's surround these boys. Uh, one unit though can uh, can watch our back, of course. And the other unit can fully surround these boys. Bring the general in. And then the archers can also come into here as well. Get up there quickly, please. Because their charge could come any minute. And I want you to be in a good position for the charge. Not in a mess of a position like you were before. Um, oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Wrong way, archers. Sorry. I sent you the wrong way. Uh, come on. March through them, boys. Squish these boys. Squish them. Squish them. Sandwich. There we are. That's better. Now get in your phalanx. And these archers, if we get them here. Get them there. Get behind. Guys, come on. What is this? Oh, phalanx is so annoying to use in cities. In general, to be honest. <laughs> This is why when we play uh, 0.6, I'm not going for a phalanx nation as the first nation will play us. <laughs> oh, so annoying to use. Come on, boys. Keep coming forward. It's a very nice, you know, open walk down to the square here. And they look like they want to, you know, kind of entice us in. That is absolutely fine, though. If we can get a few pot shots off at them, that would be great. Oh, come on, Chalka Speeders. You're doing so much worse than what I expected of you. Uh, who else do we have? we got you. we got a lot of cavalry. Uh, we got a couple of high pastists. I mean, you don't, guys don't need a ram. We'll bring the high pastists in. Not going to guarantee that we'll use them, but we'll bring them in just in case, you know. These archers are just really stupid. Come on, guys. Get there. You're not going to be able to fight those boys and win. Get your spears down. You should be doing well. They are doing decently well. But even if you're just firing at them, it's enough to maybe... They're, they're being very clever here, the AI, in fact. 
But let's speed it up. See what we can do. I mean, if they come around and flank us, that would be uber clever by the AI. Uber clever. What I think we'll do is we'll bring our high pass this around the other way. They, they will be able to hold their own against the general's bodyguard. It'll be a struggle for them, but they will survive, you know. You guys get there. Let's get our general behind again. Uh, you guys just, just walk. Just walk. Oh, there we are. We've got rid of those guys now. Fantastic. Uh, yep. Get into them. Just the rest of the hillmen. Do you know what? Halt. General there. Guys, just just halt. Like, just halt, bro. Should be able to fire into them now. Really just don't want to fight these guys on the town square. That's going to be where the pain comes. That is going to be where there is uber pain for no reward, really. I mean, if you guys could get here, that would be amazing. But unfortunately, you can't. They're still good anyway. Uh, have we killed off those boys yet? Yes, we have. Now we're going to come up and try and make like a double level line. Keep coming forward, boys. So let's speed it up. Yes. Firing at the wrong people, you fools. Uh, no, 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 no. Not you as well. Fire there. When you actually look at it, like these guys have such a low range, really, don't they? And when you actually look at the, the way that they can fire, <laughs> really low range. Oh, here they come. Here they come. Right, let's get forward. Firing some javies into us now. Uh, guys, what are you doing, bro? God. Archers, you just really want to piss me off today, don't you? You should be able to fit in there. Might be too close then if we do that. Just get there. God, God damn it, bro. Just get there. This is actually really good for us. This triple leveled line. They do have silver armor as well. And weapons. Which is not great for us. But it's fine. Right. Halt. Now you should be able to fire. Here comes the main charge. Just going to hope that our guys hold pretty well. We're protecting this, this unit's flanks with this second unit, but this is a very, very strong... The Asian Royal Bodyguard is a very strong General's unit. Even stronger than our Greek one, and we've seen what damage that Greek one can do. Um, and as you can see, even this Chalka Speeders that's in Phalanx formation is getting destroyed by it. Well, that's one of their Generals dead, at least. Good. That'll be that one. Uh, right, Hypastists. If we could surround them, that would be glorious. I don't think... I think we'll be too late because I messed up moving them around. I forgot about it. Uh, you guys get there. Oh, this is just a dogfight down here. But we are in phalanx formation. Maybe not ideally in phalanx formation, but we're in a, phala a phalanx formation anyway. <laughs> so let's get going. And let's speed it up. See how our Chalka Speeders do. Doing pretty well, to be fair to them. This unit, of course, is a little bit damaged. <laughs> right, boys. Right in the back. I don't care about this Cappadocian Cavalry or whatever crap they've got over here. Wow, where did... Wh why and how did these guys just run through a phalanx, bro? That's just silly. <laughs> they should not be able to do that. I guess they get around the edges. But now these guys are fully surrounded. This should be so much better. And we've got our general in there as well. Come on, boys. Rally the men. That has basically made everyone run. Just this final Cyrus of Cappadocia. We need... I think we've killed him, though. No, we haven't. We've not killed Cyrus. There we are. That's it. Good. 
And then who do we have to kill? Just these boys. So let's get them. Oh, brutal. There we are. Nice. Well done. Whew, that was a bit more damage than I wanted to take, I've got to say. But, you know, Chalka Speed has these guys took the brunt of the charge, so they didn't kill that many, but they took the brunt, so fair enough to them. But yeah, well done, guys. Good result in the end. And like I say, this army's going to be on campaign for a while. We might send the Chalka Speeders back, but we shall see. Here we are. And again, let us enslave Parnassos. They're not too happy. Fair enough. <laughs> Where was that massive temple? That can't have just been that. What? Or was that the governor's palace, maybe, that I just misread? I, I, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, maybe Mithridates will come and siege us down. I think in terms of the rest of our troops, you know. Let's see whether... Yeah, these Chalka Speeders do need a bit of retraining. Now, where did we get that training done? Here we can get Theroporoi and those boys. If we actually get the army barracks, we can actually retrain from here. That's a lot closer than going all the way back to Sardis down over there. So that's definitely something we want to do. Get a bit of a training hub in here. Um, yeah, that's 100% something we want to do. And Tyana, yeah, Tyana, we've got loads of these boys so we can garrison. Same in here. So we've got loads of garrison troops. And we will be sending out that garrison army probably very soon. Um, but yeah, what do we want to build in here to get them happy? Obviously repair that. Let's build... Don't want the second level of that. We want the Shrine to Hera instead. Let's build the Shrine to Hera. Again, we can't really see too much. It looks like the Galatians are on our northern border up this way. This is quite a small little region, isn't it? Uh, and yeah, the Galatians are over this side as well. Did we get that army moving? We did. We're going to have this army ready relatively soon. Do we have any Epilectoi or anything yet? No. It's still just the Hypastis, who are a very good unit. But they are basically glorified Hoplites. So, yeah, Agira Speeders, Hypastis. Yeah, we'll have a nice balance anyway. We'll have a nice balance. Uh, oh, we've got a city expand, Apamea Kibota. So I've got to remember that for next time. <laughs> Which, let's see whether I do. And then, of course, we've got this little uh, garrison up there, which will probably auto-resolve. Oh, we've got our spy spies, you know, going around looking for that other... There is that other Parthian settlement that I actually don't know where it is. And I can't from remember from when we did the Toggle Fog of War where it actually is. Um, <laughs> Greek city-states, you know, flexing their influence over the seas. <laughs> Well done, Greek city-states. You're really scaring me. Really. woo -hoo -hoo. I'm scared. Not the Greek city-states. Not again. Uh, why, do these, why do these guys insist? They're basically like mice, you know, biting the toenails of, of, of an elephant right now. Like, what are they, what are they doing? <laughs> Great analogy, by the way. <laughs> Um, right, Raithu has upgraded. Wow. Well done, Raithu. I'm very pleased for you. <laughs> I don't care about Raithu. Now we've got uh, Cholera over here. Um, oh my days! Chaos! Jesus Christ! That is a face that you see often on a Saturday night in, uh, in England. <laughs> Just let me in, bro. Just let me in. Just let me in. I promise you. I promise you I'm sober, bro. Just let me in. <laughs> uh, right, well, well um, anyway, cholera has come of age, so it shouldn't be too hard to find him a, a settlement to govern. Surely they're not, not all governed over here, are they? I'll tell you what, we'll send him to Halicarnassus. Um, cholera, off you go, my friend. Uh, we've also got a... Did we get you? I thought I recruited a unit. 
So it was in there, but let's get another one. Just so that when this guy dies, they've still got something in there. Another guy has died, and Kesey's in my Lisa. This is why we, you know, double stack them all, so I don't need to do loads of time, you know, re-managing all these places. Although, a few of them will have no governor eventually. Uh, we just need to keep on going. Oh, sorry, where did that second coming of age go? So he's here, Seleucus so the Liar is 58. Um... That just looks scary, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think Seleucus, I think Diodotus, we need to send you up to there. Because the guy in there is 70, so surely he's going to die pretty soon. Uh, we'll get you over there. Rest of you boys, all doing well, I think. Good, lots of cities upgrading. Lots of sewers. That was, a, you know, a big push we did a couple of turns ago, wasn't it? And again, we're up to 55k again, which is great. Great, great, great. This army, though, who were we going to have to lead it? We were... It wasn't Artemios. It was Alketos. This guy is fantastic as a general, and he's only 19. Uh, but his mind is older. Um, but yeah, we're just going to wait for those couple of extra archers to get in there. Over this way, Mytilene. I don't think we need to do anything. 168. It's just annoying. Luckily, it's like the archers and hoplites that have taken the damage rather than any of the good, good, like better units like the Chalka Speeders. But pff, still annoying. This is an army that's been on campaign a while as well. Uh, if we remember Antiochus the Angry, he's been on campaign. You know, fought in uh, northern Egypt, fought for the settlements around there, and then he also went back and, and destroyed some rebel settlements along the way, taking out this eastern border for us, which is good. Well done, Antiochus, you uninfluential man. <laughs> so this settlement here, if we have a look at that, that's actually Cappadocia. And where actually is the settlement there? That's Upper Cappadocia. So where actually is the settlement in here? Because that's their set. That's their place. We've also got to be a bit wary that we don't have anyone to garrison. So let's get you out. And they're still happy. It's going to be a bit of a transgression, but eh, shouldn't be too bad. And Tarsos is upgraded now as well. So let's oh, smash that in. Yeah, there's a few of these places that we can do with Fettelin with the amount of troops that are in each one. And we'll suddenly be making so much more money. Uh, how about Bactria? You're still sieging us down. I mean, are you going to make us wait all this time? I mean, probably. <laughs> God, it's a long road to Asperbota, isn't it? A long, long road. So, this counts as a different place. So, that's Khorasamine. Which... Is that's not that one. That's ours, right? This is Khorasamine. So we just need to find the settlement in there. Which might be just along this border. Might be on this river somewhere. Ideally, I'd like to see a road here. So I can actually find where it is. And is that... Oh, no, that's Rivia. Oh, no. This is Khorasamine. Cool. So, we do know where that is. You can go there. Now we just need to find the one in, in Rivia. Which pff, looks massive. Oh, God. It's going to be a journey finding this out. <laughs> I might need to toggle the fog of war just to find it. Because there's no point just marching the army around this area for no reason. Uh, just finding uh, where it is. <laughs> uh, but, yeah. Cool. So up in the north, we're good. This army is, is damaged as hell. Would be nice to get all these boys back for retraining. Is it sensible though? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Uh, we do have recruitment over here. That's quite good. So let's get the militia barracks in there. That'll allow us to, to recruit at least the hoplites. Rather than having to come all the way down to Alexandria Ariane. Which is a bit further. Uh, from up here. Uh, but yeah, I think we're in a good position again. Let's uh, 
end the turn and let's see what happens. Ah, yes, I forgot about you. So many armies now. This is the this is this is the hardest, genuinely the hardest thing with the with the Seleucids is knowing which way to go. I don't know if you forgot about um, the Egyptian boys as well. Uh, you know, in which Parthia want to become our protectorate if we give them Nisa. That that sounds like a poison chalice if ever there was one. But. We are... <laughs> we... I mean, I don't think if we, we countered this, they'll ever offer this again. At least it will show us where, the, where that other settlement is. So if they do attack us, we're going to accept. We're going to accept, guys. Come on. And we didn't even build that turn. Oh, what am I doing? But they must be scared, you know. That that does really, really allow us just to focus on Bactria, though. And I'm hoping Parthia will stay loyal long enough. This is the key thing. Long enough for us to have taken out Bactria by the time that they, uh, you know, decide to betray us. Let's have a look where we accepted this guy. Oh, up here. Interesting. You're only 28. You're actually really good. 40. You're rubbish. Hecatompolos. How old's the main governor in here? 64, so he will probably die soon. We'll stick you across into um, Hecatompolos just for now. Uh, Bactria is still sieging us down. That's fine. If you're interested as to why I've not done that as a battle, I want them to break themselves against our walls. That is, you know, the only reason. <laughs> well, I think actually you go in there. Seen as our governor's just died. And these boys, you can go straight into Halicarnassus. And uh, we don't have a governor in there yet, but that's fine. So, Parthia is our new protectorate, which is kind of funny. But also great. Right, I'm just looking for the colonies here, just to make sure that we keep on smashing out these colonies in each place that we have decided to build them. If we look here, wait, no, no Greek. Come on, really? What about over here? Yeah, Greek, so that'll be another 5%. So it won't be long before all this area is Greek. You know, some of these places are going to start, some of these places on the edge where there are Greek settlements. So here, so over this way. Should be easier there. That's becoming Greek. And then when that does, that'll mean that this gets an extra 5% as well. And as well, Jerusalem will get an extra 5% of Greek, as you can see, uh, added on. So they should start uh, turning. And then these ones will start turning as well, which will be great. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Right. Well, I think now that big army's gone... Let's send these boys back for retraining. And that is retraining enough, right? We are, yeah, we're level three colony. So, you boys, let's get you back for retraining down here. Uh, and then, let's have a look. We want to take you boys out. Still happy? Yeah, plenty happy. Send you up there. Same with these boys. Our garrison, our garrison armies. How unhappy is Tyana now? Actually, perfectly fine. So, we want to get our garrison armies there first. Let's go scout ahead a bit. Let's get you up there. Was that a full stack? Pretty much. Wow, that's a nice, nice old stack they've got there. Uh, you boys, yeah, you need garrison as well. So can't really move too fast without the garrisons <laughs> over here. Uh, and Ariathus, let's get you up to this uh, rebel settlement. Whoa! What? I wonder whether the Galatians just went in here and destroyed everything. They didn't destroy everything, though. That's weird. 
I don't know why that has happened. The, the rebel army must be somewhere else, but... Yeah, I have no idea why that's happened. This is Greek. That's Anatolian. Yeah, the Galatians just have such a, a struggle because of the culture in this region. Really hard for them to get good, uh, their, you know, native, their culture into these native Greek and Anatolian lands. A really big struggle for them. So we shouldn't have too much of a problem with them. You know, a lot of their energy will be spent dealing with that. Uh, which temple did they go for? They went for trade. Yeah, we'll keep it there because it'll keep them happy for now. And then, you know, let's build the shrine to Hera in there anyway to keep them even happier. Uh, right, up in the north. So now we actually do know where it was. And it's all the way up there. I don't think I would have ever guessed that. Do, if we look at the diplomacy uh, of uh, these boys. Diplomacy is here, isn't it? Uh, never really used this tab, so I don't know. Let's have a look at Parthia. Uh, if it loads... So Parthia is actually not fighting Bactria right now. That would be ideal if they if they fought Bactria, but it doesn't look like they're going to do it. Uh, right, you come across. We did give up Nisa for that, but I don't think that's a, that's really a worry. Um, so you're going to go north. Have we built that building yet? Yes, we have. Let's queue up some Zistophori in there then, so we actually have some cavalry uh, to combat Bactrians. We do still have this settlement here, which, you know, is a trash settlement. We're waiting for the garrison again. How many turns now until reforms? Six more turns. Good, 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 good. Right, let's do our building, guys. Let's do our building. I think this time we are going to focus back on our homeland. We've uh, ignored it for some time because we've been building in the outer regions to try and build them up. Let's go for the Spice Road. Let's see how much money that Spice Road makes now. 500. Woo. Nice and spicy. Let's uh, go for the crop rotation over there. Let's look at potentially the aqueduct. They get a bit more population growth over here. It's only got half a percent. Uh, same thing over there. Nippur. Let's go for the Agora. You know, if you look at the, the money these guys are making now... Some big money these places are making. And everywhere is Greek, which is great. Uh, Babylon's actually not got that much we really want to build. So let's go for the Temple of Tyke for that extra, um, extra money. Seleucia as well pretty much has nothing. So let's go for the large stone walls. Let's flex. Let's build some new stone walls. In memory of Antiochus, well, of Antiochus the Builder, huh? Uh, I forgot that happened this this episode. That's so sad. <laughs> no, <laughs> genuinely sad. That he was a great, great commander, great leader of men, and uh, holding this empire together, and not only holding it together, but greatly expanding it, destroying the Ptolemies, finishing the work of his father. Pretty much, you know, the Ptolemies have been nothing like what they used to be. So I think we can say that he did single-handedly destroy the Ptolemies. I think we'll come into this little middle region here because, again, we've not really focused on this for quite some time either. A um, couple of them probably are upgrading. Look at the trade going here. How much money is Odessa making? Yeah, 3,000 for such a small place. And a lot of that. Look at that trade, man. Oh, my God. Look how many places it's trading with. <laughs> oh, my days. That is fantastic. <laughs> glorious, glorious, glorious trade. Let's go for an inland trade center in here. That place not trading quite as much. Uh, but let's upgrade the trading capabilities of these places. Uh, Kiros as well. Let's go for those paved roads. Uh, I think that's probably one of the main things we want to focus on next, is upgrading everywhere we can up to the paved roads. Slukia Piera, let's go for that. And then over in this region, let's go paved roads again. And then maybe that there. 60,000 now, which is pretty nice. Oops. I didn't mean to do that. Did I, did I accidentally mess with the... Uh, 
how it how it looks. No, 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 I didn't. Good, good, good. Right, so I think we're gonna end it there, guys. We are very close to getting the reforms. Hopefully, you know, one or two more episodes, depending on how many battles are in each episode. Wait, before we go, before we go. <laughs> Gotta do this. <laughs> Don't wanna forget that again. Send slave. Keep on the work of Antiochus. These guys are actually Ethiopian religion now. Now is that... That is not the end of the Ptolemy's line. This next one is. And then the final settlement... Is all the way across there, which... Will take years to get to if we walk. Uh, but I think that's what we're going to do. Because I'm I'm not too bothered about taking rebel settlements over here. Oh wait, no, they've got one here as well. well it must be like right on the edge. So I guess that'll be... The next one after this one. So let's... Oh, wow. By doing that, we pretty much destroyed everything in this poor place. Uh, but yeah, we need to re repair that as well. And then get some roads here. It doesn't even have roads. Ah, city expands Adramitian as well. Got to try and remember that for next episode. But anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. It's been a pleasure. As always, please do like, subscribe, all that good stuff. It really does help the channel out. And I will see you all again on the next video.